Hi everybody, welcome to Boston, Massachusetts. This is a special presentation of theCUBE. We're here on top of 60 State Street. You'll see the, the clock tower in the background overlooking Boston Harbor. It's really a pleasure to be with you. We're here at BMC Day, checking out what BMC customers are doing in the whole area of digital transformation. I'm here with Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Brian's up this week from North Carolina. Uh, Stu and Brian are doing a bunch of cloud planning. Gentlemen, good to see you, Stu. Brian, good to see you. Welcome to Boston. Hey, it's a great day, beautiful day. Unbelievable day today, right? I mean, it was raining last night, sun comes out, we get this great view in the background. We're going to be eating over at Legal Harborside on the first floor tonight, looking forward to that. <laughs> to stop by if you're in town. But, uh, so what we heard today was really a big discussion around um, digital transformation. You know, it's, something, it's a theme that we hear within the industry a lot. The, the traditional BMC crowd are sort of IT operations people. BMC was a sort of two plus billion dollar company, went private a couple of years ago in a, in a takeout with Bain. You know, very much a you know, very small version of what we saw from Dell, Stu. Um, and of course, we, all, we know well the story of ServiceNow coming in, at, going after IT service management. It's kind of picking off a, a lot of the sweet spot of BMC and, and CA and, and IBM and HP with change management and problem management and that stuff. But, and so, BMC kind of struggled as a public company, but now as a private company, it gets to do a couple things. One, write its own narrative, kind of like Dell does, and two, invest. You know, without investors breathing down your neck, it's not on the 90-day shot clock, as Michael Dell likes to call it. So, so we heard some you know, positive momentum here today. We're going to be talking to some of the senior execs uh, within you know, BMC's organization, hopefully some customers as well. Stu, what's your take, and then we'll uh, get Brian's input. Yeah, Dave, so you know, as we've been looking at cloud, the real opportunity to be able to transform customer environments is to make things, uh, the term Brian's used is, operationally efficient. And of course, where the rubber hits the road on that is the management layer. Uh, so you know, it, it's not just about you know, cheaper hardware or simplifying the hardware, but it's you know, how do I change my operations, how do I make business processes work better. So this is the area where BMC and companies like it uh, can really come and you know, help customers through that transformation, what, what they're calling the digital transformation yeah, process. So, so everybody talks about digital transformation, everybody talks about cloud, you kind of got to be in those two areas mm -hmm. and you know, throw in mobile and social if, if you want. But Brian, so from your point of view, BMC, are they in the conversation? Are they relevant to the whole cloud conversation? If so, how so? Well, I think for them, you know, the conversation today was all about, <clears throat> you know, business is going to change, and it's going to have, and it's changing faster and faster. And it was about making uh, the, the audience that was here, the users of BMC technology relevant again, making them understand that BMC is about automation, it's about cloud management, it's about being able to, to help from the mainframe to, to the cloud. Uh, you know, BMC's got an opportunity to be very relevant because all the transformations they talked about today, unless you're just talking about a pure play, an Uber or a Tesla, it's, I've got to get, I've got to link these new systems of engagement all the way back to systems of record. And BMC's got a breadth of portfolio that kind of crosses all that from an IT operations perspective. So we also heard from uh, Evelyn uh, Ehrlich, Ehrlich from Forrester, meaty presentation to say the least. You know, she kind of gave us a, a, a brain dump on sort of Forrester's view of digital transformation, a lot of the ITIL stuff. Um, takeaways from her presentation, Stu, any thoughts? Yeah, I, I mean, she, she did a real good job of, uh, you know, really focusing on, on what customers are doing. She said, you, you know, they're not users, they're customers. And, you know, we don't call it IT anymore. We need to, need to call it business technology. And, of course, this, this digital transformation is a journey. So, uh, so, some of the things that we've been hearing for a few years, but articulated nicely, helping move kind of up the stack, if you will, as to where the business value needs to be, uh, and how we can really take some steps for the digital transformation. Uh, you know, talked a little bit about DevOps and uh, you know, some of these movements uh, to, to help make things better. Yeah, so you, you hear a lot of people talk about, Brian, you know, are you going to be a predator, are you going to be prey? Right. It's sort of a recurring theme. It's like everybody's using Airbnb and, 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 and Uber as examples of digitization. Um, but so, where are we in terms of what customers are really doing uh, in terms of that digital transformation, in terms of transforming into that that DevOps, which is oftentimes is an ops dev type of environment. What's your right. take on that? Well, I think, so she laid out a huge, lots of ways you can get there, all the technologies. To me, what was, what was really interesting is, um, and I hear this from a lot of, a lot of end customers who are doing it, the business has to drive it. It's not going to be driven by IT sort of saying, we're going to be 15% faster, 30% faster. So it's, it's the business driving it. And 
the, the proof point that she used that I thought was really interesting was, she said, you know, be very focused on mobile first. Be very focused on what mobile means to that customer experience, from partners to supply chain to the actual end user buying experience. And a lot of times that can be the driver that's going to, to push those things downstream that IT has to change, but it's also going to change how maybe sales in, in engages. It's going to change how your website engages. Uh, having that that point in, in, in how do I get along this journey is really important for businesses. Because if you look at 50 slides and there's a lot of density, you don't know where to start. Yeah, and it, it really is hard because it's, a, it's, it's specific to each business. You sure. kind of got to start with, okay, well how, how do I apply this? It's really hard to generalize and, and take action on that. But nonetheless, it's something that a lot of people are talking about. We're going to be here uh, all, all afternoon talking to executives. Uh, we're going we're gonna to actually talk to, to <laughs> Forrester as well. And we're going to have some of, some of our own sort of discussion, so, so keep right there. There's a special presentation of theCUBE, we're at the top of Beantown at 60 State Street in Boston at BMC Day. There's a CUBE, we're right back. <laughs>